Imagine the president-elect puts his hand on the Bible and swears to uphold the Constitution of the United States and really means it. No games. No grabs for more power. No circumventing the Congress by executive orders. No personal corruption. Imagine the president who reduces his own salary from $500,000 a year and millions in expenses to $39,336 the median wage of the average American worker. Imagine, 66 years after World War II, we finally bring home our troops from Germany and Japan and save trillions of dollars that can be used in our own economy. Imagine a government that stops wasting its time auditing a waitress, to make sure she pays taxes on her tips, and starts auditing the Federal Reserve which now meets in secret, creating trillions of new dollars for the business elites. Ever wonder why Ron Paul gets passed over in the network debates? Why executives send down the orders to pan Ron Paul? Why CBS, in its last debate, gave him 89 seconds in the first hour, dead last of the seven debaters, even though he was third in their own national polls? Wonder why a director's voice was picked up by amateur radio buffs? yelling into Chris Matthews' earpiece during the first South Carolina debate. Don't go to Ron Paul. Don't go to Ron Paul. The craven personalities on television will do whatever they are told to do. It is the price they pay to be on screen. And the producers verbalize those plans to their anchors and segment producers as dictated by the executives. And the executives get their orders from the chairman. And the chairman does not want to lose the Federal Reserve, the golden goose of American elites, the gift that keeps on giving, the bank that meets in secret and can, in one year, dole out more newly created money than the entire accumulated national debt. It's about money. It's always about money. But people are not dumb. I should amend that to say, people will not remain dumb forever. They can sense when something is wrong and they become aroused and curious when their own interests are threatened. And they can get smart in a hurry. They have lost the value of their homes and savings, and now they are losing their jobs and they are hearing about trillions going to banks and corporations that are moving all of their money overseas, and they are reading and googling, and some of them have found Dr. Ron Paul. Why should they vote for candidates who are part of that system, who were employed by that system? Why vote for someone who was paid money to protect that system when there is a candidate who warned of the coming economic crisis, on the record, in congressional testimony, ten years before it happened? Even Ronald Reagan's Justice Department declared waterboarding was torture and they sentenced a sheriff to ten years in prison for doing it. People can be discerning, and they resent being led around by the nose by arrogant, insider, elite media personalities, acting as the lapdogs to modern-day robber barons who counterfeit money to finance their lifestyle. If the Iowa caucus were held right now, Ron Paul would win. He is in a statistical dead heat with four other establishment candidates and he alone has a following of informed voters. The other campaigns have no ground game, they're not true believers, and they depend on free television and the bluff of television personalities who keep repeating the mantra, Ron Paul can't win. But now we know. Ron Paul can win. He can win the Iowa caucus where a Bloomberg News poll shows him in a tie for first. The public policy poll shows he was the only Republican candidate to beat a bomber among independent voters. He wins 48% to 39%. It can happen. He can win. Imagine. Imagine no more wars. No more torture. No more wire tapping. No more bombs. No more troops dead. No more innocent civilian casualties. No more counterfeit money. No more TSA molestations. No more rights being taken away. No more Patriot Act or Military Commissions Act. No more FEMA. No more Fed. No more police state. No more lies. Imagine. You may say that I'm a dreamer. But I am not the only one. I hope someday you will join the revolution, 
so the world can get back to peace and love.